Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing a nail collab video that was hosted by Nails by Lena C. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So for this collab, we are doing marbling. So I'm gonna do like two versions of marbling and it's not what you think it's gonna be. So here I am um, just gold, putting on this gold powder on some of my nails here. Um, my video had cut off, but I used this um, nail foil and it has this uh, marbling, beautiful marbling on there with the colors that I was totally intending on using. But um, if you saw my unboxing video um, from Born Pretty, they threw in these foils. Um, so I was like, I have to use it. So I used some um, McCart nail foil glue on it. And um, just showing you what I did on it because my video did cut out. Um, here is the nail foil that I ended up using. I love the color scheme on it. I love that there's gold in there because I wanted to use my gold um, powder. And then um, I did put a magnet on there. Uh, let me grab, let me see here. My voice is squeaky today, by the way. Um, but yeah, so uh, I did put a magnet on here. I used the gummy jelly and shiny to adhere it and you know I like to disguise my magnets so I did um, also cover my magnet with um, some gold leaf as well and these are my new bottles of gummy jelly and shiny by Enel Couture so I'm like so happy that <laughs> I can use it again because I feel like it's the best but yeah, so, and then I use these tiny little magnets that I always use um, for my charms. But yeah, so for this next nail, I wanted to do a marble run. So when we, when Lena came to me and um, she graciously invited me to this nail collab and I haven't, this is like my third one, maybe or fourth one actually and um since doing this, this is like i've been on here for years now so <laughs> but um i was really excited about it but when she said marble i was like hmm, what am i gonna do and i wanted to do something different i definitely wanted to do like marbling um but i also wanted to do some other marble stuff so we've got the marble foil and now i'm going to do my marble run i was thinking of like i i watch marble run videos if you haven't seen it yet go check it out it's so interesting to watch and it basically it's like this um course where marbles are sent down the chain and they go through an obstacle course and it's fun to watch i guess <laughs> lord okay so I wanted to use this like, um, I don't know what they call it, but uh, Born Pretty calls extension gel. And I'm gonna put this all over the nail. I had put my purple uh, chrome powder on the silicone mat, and I'm just gonna use it to form that gel on top of the nail so that it, it imprints the design with the powder. And prior to this, I did buff the nail so that it sticks to it nice and nice and good, nice and well. <laughs> but yeah, this is a little difficult to use, so I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But as you see here, it came out pretty nice. And I'm going to go back in anyway, and I'm going to use that chrome powder to um, fill in the gaps. Because I want this to be a solid purple chrome. Although, after I did that, I did look at this and I was like, oh, maybe it would have been more interesting if I left it like this. But I felt like it was too messy for me. I wanted it to be nice and neat. So I just chromed up the whole thing. So for this stuff, um, I had to cure um, very well because if you don't, you still can make indentations on it while you know, you're rubbing this. So I had to make sure 
that everything was cured out. For some reason, that takes longer to cure than um, than other products. Not similar, but close to what this is. Because I don't even know the company name. I don't know. I just saw it on Amazon and I got it. <laughs> so again, I'm just rubbing this in. And I don't know why my voice is so squeaky today. All right, some more gummy jelly. I'm just sporadically like putting dots down and um, I'm gonna be placing these caviar beads um, randomly. And so that's gonna be like my marble run. This is gonna be on a like macro scale or micro scale or which one or other like where you can see the marbles channeling down through the obstacle course and um, from the tip I'm going to start with the smallest size and then work my way up to the largest size on the base of the nail. I always back up my gummy jelly with the shiny it um, saran wraps everything and makes it nice and secure. And again, starting with the small size and going up the nail to the larger size. So I wanted to take this moment to thank you guys for watching this video today. Don't forget to give that like button. Um, it'll help my channel out. I also wanted to thank Nails by Lena for inviting me to this collaboration. I love doing these. They're so much fun. And um, I'm going to leave a list of the schedule in the description box below, as well as their links. So please, guys, go ahead, subscribe to them, click on that notification bell so you do not miss a video. Collectively, watching all the videos um, just gives you a better, uh, well-rounded idea of this theme. And it's such a great theme of marbling because you guys can learn different ways of doing things because not every person would do marbling the same way um yesterday uh just nikki uh did her video we kicked off monday and she did marbling through dip powder and let me tell you how freaky that was like <laughs> i mean like freaky good because like i didn't know you could do that but she did and if you want to learn how to do that, you should go and check her out. And I'm so excited to see what the other ladies are doing because I love to learn. Not only do I love to see um, such great talent, um, you know, unspoken talent that's, you know, still trying to get up there um, and some that are already up there. And it's like, wow, you know, it's we've got a, a variety of people on this collab. Um, but also, uh, you end up learning things. This is all educational, whether we're just showing off our designs, um, or for actually like literally teaching you something. Um, it's always a great opportunity to check out what others are, are doing, especially when they're all doing like the same theme. Um, so I did the foil, I did the marble run, and now I'm going to be doing the actual marbling. So I'm taking the colors that I wanted to use. As y'all know, I love my greens. So I've got like, you know, I, I'm not going to say the name. So I might leave it in the description box below. But I got my like turquoise, my aqua. I've got a little blues in there. And now I'm just going to sprinkle on some um, of this chrome powder. Um, originally, I thought I was going to do like my glitter gel. But I thought maybe the chunks would be a little too big for this. Um, so I'm just going to use the uh, gold powder and you'd be amazed on how great that works as well. Um, that inspiration was based on that nail foil that Born Pretty sent me. So um, <laughs> it's funny how it all works out. So I'm going to take my ball tool and just create some um, perpendicular lines on, on this group of colors here. And I'm starting out small because um, I think it just it's more controlled if you don't go too crazy putting down polish. But I'm going to grab my um, it's a feathering brush or like my marbling brush. And I'm going to do a close up of this you guys. I'm just going to be feathering this out in one direction. 
putting it in an angle, giving it some flair, some characteristics. This is, as you can see within that, I'm leaving these little beautiful streaks behind. And I'm just gonna keep doing that till I finish up my polish. And I think that's gonna give me a good amount of this beautiful, beautiful marbling color. And after I cure that, I wanna edge it with some more gold leaf. This is gonna be great. I wanted to play around with the textures and the colors. We've got the gold uh, powder, but it looks so different against the um, gold leaf. And it adds more character to what I'm doing here, making it that much more complicated. I just did gummy jelly on the edges and now I'm putting shiny all over the nail and I'm just going to be sticking on these gold leaf pieces and I'm just going to leave as is. I'm not going to be um, putting more top coat on it so just make sure you press down on all the sides so that they adhere to the nail. It's gold leaf, so I mean, if you were to wear this, it's gonna have wear on it. If you do wanna protect it, you could top coat it, but you may lose the definition on the texture of the gold leaf. So for this uh, final nail, I'm gonna go back to doing the marble run and I'm gonna add a charm, um, no, I'm not gonna add a charm to it. I'm going to turn this into a marble run and I'm going to use a straw to do it. <laughs> you can't watch an Is Isms by Josie video without seeing something wonky on there. <laughs> but so basically I'm going to do this marble run and I'm going to make a corkscrew nail. I've seen this done on other videos in the past. I don't know uh, what video they were from. It was a long while back when I started this channel in 2020. Um, but I'm just going to use my nail extension gel. And I'm going to wrap around the um, straw and cure it. And I'm just going to start getting it out of there. After you cure the extension gel by Born Pretty, by the way, um, it does leave a... It's not like a sticky rac residue. It's just sticky. So it was hard to get out. Now, apologies for my gooseneck lamp by Jellish. <laughs> I never look when I put this goose lamp up. So I forgot that it's in the view of the camera. Basically, I'm just attaching my corkscrew to the nail tip by using rhinestone nail glue. And I'm going to reinforce it with some hard gel so that it does stay on there. Normally, I would build it with a nail form, but that's even more complicated. And I wanted this to be neat. I think this is the easier way, really. Um, obviously, these nails wouldn't be functioning nails. <laughs> they would be really cool for a party, um, but then you would probably want to pop them off. So having super duper strength is not um, necessary here. But I did put rhinestone glue to connect it and as well as reinforce that joint by putting um, either rhinestone glue or hard gel on the top and bottom of that connection. So now I'm using the, um, the um, hard gel uh, by putting a nice layer on top to uh, reinforce that joint. In here I am just putting some transfer foil onto the entire nail and I'm using that same foil to apply the uh, the marbling onto the nail. I wanted to um, have this be the same as the ring finger so hopefully it works out because it was pretty tough maneuvering um, or getting the foil to stick on the corkscrew crevices but it ended up working out. It took me a minute. I'm not going to be showing that. I'm only going to be showing a little bit of this transfer foil as I'm doing it because it did take me obviously more than a minute and I didn't want to waste the video time. 
So I'm just showing you a little bit of what I did. I wrapped it around the corkscrew and I'm, I did fold it and stick it in between each like ring. But as you see here, it, I was able to get the, the foil to adhere to most of that corkscrew, which looks super creepy in a good way. <laughs> What's up with me using weird words to describe good things? Um, <laughs> but yeah, after that, I put on some gummy jelly randomly, and then I'm using shiny to um, help it adhere better. I'm using the largest size. Um, I was gonna say marbles. They're not marbles, but they're they're supposed to be like fake marbles. I'm using the largest size caviar bead to stick to the corkscrew as if it was running down the corkscrew. I'm trying to work super fast because uh, they do move around. But after I cure that, I'm um, sealing them in with some more shiny. And this is a lot. I, I feel like I haven't stopped talking, so hopefully this isn't too much talking for you guys. <laughs> Especially with my squeaking and everything. So if you're watching this far in the video, thank you so much. Go ahead and click that like button, it'll really help my channel out. But while I'm putting this magnet on here, I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much Lena for um, inviting me to do this collab with you guys. Um, real quick, um, while I'm creating this charm here with the nail extension gel, um, Monday, yesterday, we had Just Nikki um, do her design. Today is going to be my day for doing a marble design. Tomorrow, we have Nails by Gen Genie SC. And then as well as Nails by E. So go check out their videos. On Thursday, we have um, sets by Lene, and then um, Friday, we have Phyllis Banks, as well as um, Justinisha Beauty, and then um, we also have uh, Nene's Nail Nook, so check them out on Friday, and for Saturday, we're going to have I Am Biscuit and Nails by Lena. So we have a full crew for you guys to be watching um, our version of marbling. So I hope you guys really enjoy this and let me know what you guys think. Always pop back in. You can leave a message here in the community. I'm going to also, um, in this video, and I'm also going to leave a community tab um, to start comments and stuff. But... Since we have all this marbling, my charm is going to be an actual marble. <laughs> so I um, definitely went in and put some color in there and twisted it in there. So I'm hoping that the video will be able to pick up all this work that I've done to this marble. But I'm just putting top coated on now and putting it on the magnet. And here is the end result, you guys. Um on my fake hand because I already did my nails this week but I wanted to show these nails um but yeah look at this you guys here's the marble how cute is that and it's still it blends so well it, I mean if you didn't have that charm um you wouldn't be able to tell but here's all the work that I put in it there's got that uh color swirl that marbles have and that gold powder just makes, it ties everything together. And the purple like goes with the uh, thumbnail, chrome powder. So thank you so much for watching you guys. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And you guys go ahead, give this video a like. Check all the other ladies out in our um, Nail Sister collab. I'll leave a uh, schedule on the description box below. But here I have my marble run. I have my other marble run with the corkscrew. And the marbles going down the corkscrew. I've got these pretty gold nails with the marbling in the middle and that gold leaf border 
as well as my marble foil with my marble charm. <laughs> this is like marbling five ways. <laughs> and look at this, you guys. How cool is that? It's like blown glass, but it's not. And then here's that other copy of the gold nail with the marbling and the gold leaf edge. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Check me out again Thursday. I have Worldly Josieisms, in homage to Asian Pacific Islander um, Heritage Month. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.